maybe to start off would be lovely if you would introduce yourself and um, maybe just give a little bit of context of um, what you're doing <laughs> and talk a little bit about Chainvine. Totally. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm Brian, founder entrepreneur from Canada. Uh, I've sort of always lived between Montreal and Toronto. Montreal is the French part. And I've been building startups for the past 10 years or so. Um, my last one was a home services marketplace, actually. So we helped homeowners repair, maintain, or upgrade their home with a network of pros. And, um, you know, we built that company out and we eventually sold it to a, a U.S.-based leader called Thumbtack. And in that process, one of the things that I did was I built a team of 40 in the Philippines. I actually moved to the Philippines for a while to do it. And, you know, I've owned crypto for a very long time. Um, I was scammed by Mt. Gox, scammed by Quadriga, um, which was the Canadian Mt. Gox. Uh, I'm not sure everybody knows about it, but it, it, uh, there was a whole Netflix series about it, actually. And uh, apparently the guy died, but then a lot of the money has moved out of his wallets recently. <laughs> um, so probably not. Uh, but, you know, through that experience, after Setter, I was trying to figure out what to do next. And I was speaking with the team there. And uh, basically everybody on the Philippines team in the early 2021 was involved in crypto. They all had crypto wallets. They were playing Axie Infinity. They were doing remittances via crypto. And that was sort of when my mind got blown about the potential, um, the potential for crypto. And so I went down the rabbit hole. And in particular, I noticed one of the things that I noticed was uh, you know, if you look at the history of the internet, it was really difficult to pay users. Um, you know, the internet was really good at collecting money from people, right? That's what e-commerce is and the large, that's largely what payment flows look like on the internet. But the opposite was always really hard because you needed this coincidence of technology or you needed to do these like wire deposits and blockchain um, makes that a lot easier. And that's why we, I think we see all these X to earn. And so what we're building with Chainvine is potentially the most obvious implementation of what you might want to pay your users for, which is to help grow your, your project or, or business. And so that's what Chainvine is. It's a referral marketing software that uh, makes setting up your referral program really easy in Web3. And then it's an emerging network of affiliates to help you drive paid conversions for your project or business. Sorry, that was a bit long. <laughs> Should have made that a bit easier. Uh, back, back to you. No, that's great. No, thanks. It's really interesting to hear the hear your background as well, and like what led you to this. So, no, very cool. And um, maybe just checking in real quick here, uh, Ahmad. How are you doing? Yeah, doing well. Can you hear me now? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the mix up, but it's all good. I'm here now. So yeah, my name is Ahmad. Uh, I work for Giveth. I've been here for the last year. Um, when I first joined Giveth, I actually told the team that I think we should have a referral program. So I'm glad that uh, we finally got this started like a year later. Uh, but it finally happened, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, for a very long time, we wanted to build it in-house on our own. But as soon as I saw all the cool stuff that Chainvine is doing, I thought, you know, why do we need to reinvent the wheel? Let's just work with these guys and uh, streamline the process and get it launched. So yeah, so that's kind of the story. And uh, I'm glad that it led us here. Yeah, awesome. Um, maybe then, um, would you want to present a little bit about the Giveth, Giveth referral program? Like what it what it is exactly and how it works? Yeah, sure thing. So the Giveth referral program is a way for you to earn extra give by referring your friends, family, and network to donate to verify projects on Giveth. So it's super simple. All you have to do, um, all you have to do is go to giveth.io forward slash referral. Follow the instructions there. You'll get a referral link. Just share that link with your network. And anytime someone donates through your link, you earn gift tokens. Um, for this stage of the launch, we have a very high reward rate. So you could actually earn up to 40% of the amount that you donate in gift tokens. So like that means that if you donate $100 to a project, you could actually earn up to $40 in give rewards, which is 
super, super high. I mean, I don't know of many other referral programs that have um, such a high rate. And I honestly can't think of a better way for you to make money, help the world at the same time. And that's why we're super excited to launch this program. Yeah, thanks. Is that actually a, is that a common number, Brian, um, in terms of the rewards? I think um, it's definitely right that that's a very generous, uh, inspiring amount. And so I think it's indicative of Giveth really wanting to support the community uh, and sharing the word. Um, so would definitely second Ahmed's point there. Yeah, cool. I was actually genuinely curious, like maybe is there an average number that um, in terms of rewards, like the percentages that you usually work with for other programs? It, it ranges depending on the type of uh, product. Um, so, you know, we support sort of different folks. We support people that have SaaS apps like Web3 SaaS apps, you know, where they might give the first couple months as commission for referring people. Um, uh, we support, a, you know, a DAO here and there. Um, the other DAOs have much smaller um, rewards programs. Actually, I think it's order of five to ten percent uh, of the value brought in. Um, so it's 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 kind of, it's quite all over the place. I think if you look at Web two, where the numbers are much more sort of, um, you know, tried and true. You look, you're looking at any, you know, rewarding people anywhere from 15 to, you know, and the very generous side, 50% of what's brought in. Um, yeah, but it, you know, would be closer to the 15%. Okay, so, so yeah, we're definitely on the higher end with 40% um, rewards. That's awesome. Um, is there, uh, just, in, and then compared to other programs on Chainvine, is there anything else that... Um, makes the giveth referral program unique and in, in other aspects or is it mainly the uh the reward side uh, there's a bunch of things actually so um first of all giveth uh was one of our early earliest adopters so um big thanks to ahmed who i think is very sort of pioneering and, and forward thinking and has worked with us and then a huge thanks also to carlos who did a bunch of the uh implementation and sort of worked with us through the process so a lot of gratitude for, for, for this community. Um, some of the things that are, are different, um, one, uh, you know, Giveth has the give back program. And so as part of that wanted to do, um, you know, the so, sort of connect this to the give back program. And so the rewards, the final rewards are actually calculated and disseminated on the Giveth side. So that was a, that's, that's a unique thing for Giveth. Um, uh, so we, we had to, we, we ended up building a bunch of stuff to support that. We built some exports so that the data was easily accessible to sort of the, the team at the, the um, administrative team at Giveth to organize that. Um, we, we changed on Chainvine, there's, you've got this rewards drawer and there's the campaign layout and there it specifies the rewards, but with the Giveth program, um, those rewards, you know, are sort of up to 40% and they'll, they'll change. And so we, we had to adjust the labeling in all those different places. Um, Giveth was actually the first SDK-based implementation. Um, so we're, you know, our tech stacks are now integrated. Um, and because of that, what's what's cool is it tracks donations across any chain and token. Um, and then there was a bunch of sort of custom stuff um, that we did with Ahmed to, to you know, really make it pop for, for Giveth. Um, uh, you know, we reformatted the campaign page bunch of sort of smaller things there that might, I won't, I won't bother the community who had a bunch of details we did. And we added some SDK endpoints that Car Carlos wanted to um, track when people first click the start button on the page. Um, and so we added that. Um, and then we also, we also did sort of a special uh, agreement with Giveth considering it's, it's a for good community. So yeah, uh, those are some of the things. Wow, that's a lot of things. I actually didn't know uh, the extent of all those details. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, glad we're able to like work together on that. Um, well, maybe um, Ahmad, would you want to provide a little bit more context on? So, how is this really going to work? You know, like how how will people be rewarded by referring donors to Giveth, and how are they going to be able to claim those rewards specifically? Yeah, for sure. So um, 
as I mentioned, all you have to do is get a link. So that's like the starting point is once you have a link, um, just share that with your network. Anyone that donates through your link, you get rewarded. Now, how the rewards actually work is they integrate with the Givebacks program. So if you're new to Giveth, the um, Givebacks program is a way to earn rewards in Give by donating to verified projects. In the past, these rewards were only for you. So if you donated to a project, you would earn rewards in Give. Now, with the referral program, if you refer someone to donate to a project, that also will count in the Givebacks program. So it's basically a way to integrate you referring other people and you earn rewards through the Givebacks program. Um, how this works is rewards are paid out every two weeks um, automatically on the DAP. Um, yeah, and if you use Giveth in the past, then this should be really familiar with you. I mean, yeah, like it should be a, a very similar process. Um, if you're new to Giveth, I recommend that you go to giveth.io and look over how our DAP works and look over how the Givebacks program works. And um, yeah, I mean, honestly, like I don't think there's another donation platform in the world that has a program like this where you can actually earn money for giving to good causes. And yeah, like this um, next stage of adding referrals on top of it, we're super excited about. Um, yeah, and then in terms of how much you could actually make, so we actually have two kinds of rewards that we structured. So the first one is if I um, donate to someone that's a new user, I would basically get 50% of that user's givebacks over the next two givebacks rounds, which would basically mean over one month um, if I start at, um, at the beginning of the round. Um, so yeah, so like if I donate $100 or, or yeah, if someone donates $100 through my link, um, I could get up to $40 and give rewards from that. And uh, that would last for two givebacks rounds if they're a new user. If they're a user that is already on Giveth, so they already donated to Giveth in the past, um, then that period would only last for 24 hours. So if I refer one of my friends to donate to Giveth and that uh, friend already used Giveth in, in the past, then I would only receive 50% of their givebacks over a 24 hour period. Um, yeah, and we could talk about why we structured it this way. Uh, basically, we want anyone to be able to play this donation game where even if they were someone that used Giveth in the past, they can still take advantage of the program and help others earn rewards. So like, that's the idea of why we structured it this way. Yeah, totally. So, um, yeah, and it makes a lot of sense to me, right? Like to kind of um, put the gear, the rewards more towards new users experiencing Giveth, right? And um, that's pretty cool that like once when they're using the referral link that it lasts for like two entire weeks of them making donations over that period of time that result in rewards for the refer, right? And... Um, and what I think is especially cool about that, I don't think we've even mentioned that yet, is like that projects themselves can can take advantage of this, right? So basically, for the first time ever um, on Giveth, projects are able to earn givebacks now as well by simply creating a referral link and, um, you know, encouraging their network to, to try out Giveth. And whenever they make a donation they're gonna actually be supporting two projects at once because they simply use that referral link they've received from the project. They go in and maybe donate to another project somewhere via that link. And a part of those rewards are gonna funnel back to the project that gave them the link, right? So um, basically in a nutshell, uh, they've just donated to a second project and sent some rewards back to the first project without even needing to donate more. So. Um, it's a very cool concept, I think, there to get the projects actually directly involved in the reward system and open up a lot of opportunity there and, and uh, have a fun way to spread the word about Giveth. So um, I'm really excited to see like how that goes actually on the project side as well. 
Um, yeah, and then maybe, uh, let's see, uh, maybe to follow up on that, Ahmad, uh, maybe you could speak a little bit to what are some of the goals that Giveth is really looking to achieve with this referral program? Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, our main goal, of course, is to get more donors on Giveth. We think Giveth is the best donation platform in the world, and we want to grow our user base and onboard new users to Web3. Since we know that the, um, this can be a bit of a challenge to onboard new users especially, we wanted to reward people that are helping us grow Giveth, since we believe that all of us can work together in a win-win way. And uh, I mean, we think that's the best way. Um, we're all going to make it, as they say, and we want everyone to share in the rewards. Um, and then like the other goal is the one that you just talked about, which is we want projects to start using their networks as well. So in the past, the, um, projects couldn't earn give backs. Like you said, that was something that, o um, only donors could do, but now projects can actually earn give backs too. All they have to do is get a referral link and they can share that link with their network and any donation made through that link could earn them gift tokens. Um, and this could be seen as a donation boost for them um, if people donate to them. So, I mean, let's say, for example, that a project gets a referral link, they share it with their own network, and someone donates $100 to their project. Um, they could actually earn up to $140 if you include the give rewards that they could also earn. So it's like a I mean, it's a really exciting um, new experiment that we're trying where you could actually boost your donations by donating to the same project. And like you said, it doesn't even have to be um, your project. So if that same user donates to a different project, you will earn the same uh, give back reward. So it's a, it's a program, I think, that would incentivize a lot of um really nice behavior where it would encourage projects to refer each other and uh, also refer themselves, of course. And yeah, I mean, we're super excited to uh, start testing this out and uh, start looking for these network effects. Yeah, true. I love the doubling up um, option, like going through a project's referral link and then donating to their project. And it's like, yeah, here's a donation and here's some give back rewards on top of it, right? It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so maybe just a pivot. Brian, I was, uh, I was wondering if you could explain a little bit, like, you know, m maybe what, what would you say are some of the advantages of using blockchain, blockchain technology specifically in referral programs? And how does that differ to traditional Web2 referral programs? Yeah, totally. By the way, I never thought about the, I, I like the framing of two birds, one stone, sort of, so to speak for the, um, for the projects. It's a very cool and exciting framing that you brought up, Corey and Ahmed. Um, yeah, four things I, I'd say that I think are, are pretty interesting about uh, referral programs in blockchain versus Web2. The first one's trust and transparency. So blockchain allows for transparent, decentralized, tamper-proof record of transactions. Um, so both the refer and the referred party can trust the system. Everything's visible, verifiable on the blockchain. Um, I think we all get very excited about that. So that's certainly one thing. I think the second thing is there's actually more robust attribution. Uh, in Web2, the way these things work uh, are through cookies for the most part. It's end of, you know, sometimes some, you know, device fingerprinting. Um, in Web3, this is also based on the wallet. Um, the wallet's a cross-device, cross-platform login. Um, if in Web2, you clicked on a link on one device and then you ended up coming through and donating on a different device, you'd lose the attribution, the refer wouldn't get credit, uh, the claimer um, you know, wouldn't get their give back, for example. And so the wallet component adds an extra dimension that makes the, the, the attribution more robust and ensures that the referred party and the claimer get their credit for coming through the program. So that's the second thing. The third thing, um, potentially, and I think this might even be the biggest thing, is that the rewards are way more compelling. Um, right here, you're earning give tokens instead of a discount percentage or credits or swag or even dollars, frankly. Uh, I think we've all seen the power of ownership 
um, incentives in Web3. And, and so I think it's just way more compelling. Um, and then the fourth one, and it's not, it's potentially, you know, um, the fourth one is you can ultimately set up instantaneous rewards. Um, Web2 programs can be plagued by long approval times for rewards that frustrate users. Um, you know, Web3 is the potential for instantaneous results. So those would be four things that I think make Web3 referral programs more exciting and different than Web2 programs. Uh, if you, by the way, if you take a step back and you just think about um, why does why do crypto organizations grow so fast? It's because of referrals and the community spreading the word and actually naturally being incentivized to do so even without attribution. But then when you layer on attribution, uh, I think it's going to get even more exciting, the speed at which crypto organizations can can proliferate. Yeah, I've looked at that a lot specifically from the marketing perspective in Web3. You know, there's always been this thing that like um, paid marketing is not as effective in Web3 versus Web2 because it's more about organic growth. And that's really the key to unlocking that in Web3, right? It's just that users are naturally incentivized to spread the word and, um, you know, um, uh, extrapolate those like network effects. So, yeah, that's it's really interesting. Of course, that's got that's like your whole world. <laughs> And what you're building um what so you know in that regard like have you received any specific feedback or response from from users using chainvine and receiving crypto or uh or even nfts yeah i mean people love it um i think people find it way more exciting um uh, both of this chainvine and even more broadly right um we've all seen it i think it's interesting you speak to people that are outside of crypto and you try to you know, people are sometimes mind blown by the speed at which these organizations grow. I think it's like sometimes 10 to 100x faster than Web2. You know, examples that we're all keenly aware of, right? There's Blur, which has recently taken the number one spot in an NFT marketplaces, obviously looks rare briefly, did that. There's all the X to earn platforms like Axie Infinity or Step In, um, you know, the in real life infrastructure companies like Helium or Hivemapper or just any of the NFT communities. And yeah, always they're growing because of these uh, um, these crypto incentives. And there's even um, there's a, a newsletter that's, you know, growing like 20, getting 20 percent of their growth um, through referrals. And the only reward is is uh, a POAP. It's not even financialized. It's just, you know, potentially the well, the more, you know, the, the newsletter is going to make it worth something. And so people go people. I mean, we know it. Everybody, we lo even as individuals, love ownership, uh, and so uh, that's what we see from people that use Chainvine. It's just way more exciting and compelling than, yeah, I don't know, a discount percentage as a reward or something like that. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm really curious now about that newsletter. <laughs> Maybe you can send that to me after, because uh, yeah, I'd love to love to take a look at what's going on there. That's a special co-op. <laughs> um, well, cool then. Um, so, what are what are some of the plans coming up for Chainvine? What's the future look like? Yeah, in the short to medium term, um, we're trying to be a vital layer on the blockchain uh, stack, uh, basically enabling Web three businesses and projects to access and accelerate growth, um, both through the infrastructure, but then also through a network, right? So. Because give us referral programs built on Chainvine, um, you know, we expect increased exposure to other refers and affiliate networks, so to speak. So just there'll naturally be more osmosis and exposure for, for give us. And so I think we're, we want to really sort of build that out um, so that all the partners on Chainvine benefit from that. So that's the short to medium term. In the really long term, we envision Chainvine as a, a sort of incentive OS. And this goes back to what I was saying about how we see this, um, you know, for the first time, it's now easy to compensate your users on the internet via the blockchain where your login is an address you can send payments to. Um, and so what, in, in the long run, we see Chainvine as sort of an SDK suite, you know, that app builders can use to generate incentives for referrals, loyalty, actions, and the like um, to basically boost growth and retention. Um, tactically, one way that might manifest for Giveth in the short term is 
you know, we're conceptualizing widgets um, so that you can actually embed Chainvine into your app. So right now, you know, people come to collect their link on Chainvine, um, you know, but we're working on a widget so that potentially people could actually just do that on Giveth, and then obviously that'd be available to to Giveth um, should Carlos want to <laughs> implement it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, those, that, that's a bit of where we're going. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and you know, actually, to that point, we uh, we just received a question from Jose. Thank you, Jose, for this. Um, who mentions that uh, Jose was checking the referral program and noticed there's um, a little. He, he mentions this is kind of complicated because it does take the referral links does take you to this uh, additional Chainvine page that then takes you to Giveth. So the question is like, will there be a way in the future for the referral link to take you directly to the platform, you know, that it's sent, that it's uh, intended for? Is that something in the pipeline that Chainvine's working totally. on? Totally. Yeah, yeah. Will totally be possible. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, and then of course we'll be updating that on our end once that, that feature is live. Hope that answers your question, Jose. Just check in here to see if we have any other questions. I think that's it. Also just wa want to welcome Chainvine here for a second. I saw that you joined as a speaker. So if there's anything that you'd like to add, just want to give you that opportunity. But I think we covered a lot of awesome ground today. Well, I, I may, it might just be fun. So uh, who's repping the Chainvine Twitter is Mark, who's done a lot of the work in building this out. So actually, Mark, do you want to introduce yourself quickly? Hey, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm Mark. I'm based in South Africa, working as an engineer on the Chainvine team. Um, big blockchain enthusiast, software engineer. Um, so very yeah, pumped to be working on this kind of, it's very cool to see the real world impact, especially working with partners like Giveth, where, you know, we're doing some good and working in cool tech. So yeah, just really digging everything. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, for sure. Nice to have you here. And yeah, I mean, thanks for all your support in getting it launched. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's been it's been great to work with uh, the guys on your side as well. Uh, I think we've got a very good thing going, open communication, and uh, yeah, very easy team to work with. Thanks. I, I have a quick question. I, I'm wondering what you guys think is the best strategy for uh, getting awareness out there that people can use these referral links. And I don't know, I missed the beginning of the space. So maybe, maybe this was already answered, but like finding influencers to use the links and things like that. Like what are the best strategies that you've seen people use these really to kickstart the referral programs? Totally. Um, you know, one, um, one of our partners, it's an off ramping solution. So they help, uh, people pay bills with crypto. One of the things that they've done incredibly well is they've they market the hell out of the program. Uh, in other words, it's embedded left ways and sideways through the app. Basically, like there's little banners that link you to it on the onboarding flow. You're made aware of it um, in your account. You're made aware of it. It's like ten different places in the app that you're triggered to do it, um, and that. Uh, they sort of uh, slowly added throughout the development of their program. That's one thing. Related, um, and this potentially is a hard thing for Give It. So the, the, this company, naturally, because it's an off-ramping solution, it's kind of Web 2.5. So they actually have emails for everybody. So they have a ton of email marketing campaigns that are programmatic through the journey uh, that make you aware of it. Um, we're, we're busy thinking of different ways to uh, do that in Web3 where you just have the wallet. In other words, sending automated notifications to various people to, to you know, help um, pull them deeper into the program. Obviously, the communication layer of the Web3 stack is tough. It's hard to contact wallets today. Um, but that will be something that we're working on and will naturally be available to give us. Um, so those are a couple of things. And then obviously, yes, there's also tapping into influencers uh, and affiliates with 
large audiences and actually we're actively building out our network of those people. Um, and so give us will naturally get exposure to that um, by being on Chainvine, which I think is very exciting. Like for example, this off ramping solution has, I don't know, 50 different YouTube folks that make videos for them. Um, and so those will be available to give us. Um, yeah. So I don't know, those are, those are a few ways. Very cool. That's really cool. Well, maybe when uh, MetaMask adds snaps, we'll be able to get better notifications going. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Griff, by the way. And I guess the lot, I mean, what I would say is this kind of stuff that I guess, you know, that Ahmed, you've been spearheading and I, I guess with Corey too, this is, this is totally the right type of activity to make people aware. I think this campaign around, um, uh, launching the program and making sure everybody's aware of it's really very well done. Um, so big, big shout out to uh, you, Ahmed, and you as well, Corey. Yeah, thanks so much. And thanks so much for being here and uh, providing a lot more context around what you're building and for supporting us so well throughout this process. Um, Again, super exciting launch for us. We just really want to give people a fun way to, to talk about Giveth and sharing on, on the rewards and, um, you know, create positive impact in the world. So, um, yeah, very, very cool to partner with you on this. And, um, yeah, I think, I mean, we covered a lot of ground unless anyone else has another question to ask. I think this is a great point to uh, to call it. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just say the last thing is, uh, uh, as always, we actually have our AMA coming up at the top of the hour in about 25 minutes in our Discord channel. So if you have any more questions about the program, please come join us there in our Discord. You'll find it in the, our link tree uh, on our main account here. And um, yeah, also happy to walk you through it, uh, show you anything you'd like to see. So Love to have you there. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining today and hope you have a great rest of your day.